So we're gonna go and have a look at some ruins of an old jetty that was built in 1853. Not much of it's left, but it still looks kind of cool because it's right on the water and you get kind of an awesome view. So let's go and check it out. So you've got these kind of man-made caves that were carved into the side of the cliff face here. Um, they were used by fishermen to store their boats. Now I think people just sleep in them or you know if they're spending the day at the beach. Gives them a place to, uh, to break out of the wind I guess. So these caves have been carved into the side of the cliff face. And the idea was so that fishermen could store their boats. Um, you can see there's some old wooden pylons in here going up to the roof of the cave. Some rusted old metal. Um, it might have been used as a winch or something to, to, to pull the boat in. People now I think just use them to sort of spend the day or maybe camp out in them. If they're down at the beach, kind of breaks the wind. It's really quiet in here. You can hear the ocean behind me, but as soon as you get in the sound's kind of deadened carve the shelf in there. Um, obviously not the best place to sleep if you are making camp, although here's kind of a bit flatter. And it does, it really does break the wind. Um, and it's quite warm. I guess the rock face keeps everything kind of warm. And if you look out, you get an awesome view of the beach. So go a bit forward here, you can see some more rusted metal hanging from there. Again, it looks like some kind of wind system. It's probably used to bring the, the boats in by the fishermen. And then you can see the old jetty just in the distance. All of these cliff faces, you can tell, are all kind of eroding away. And I'm assuming as time goes on, they're all just going to continue to crumble and, yeah, keep falling further back inland. You can just see it's starting to form like little crevices and caves, I guess, eventually over time. Um, and at the moment it makes home for pigeons and other kinds of animals, I guess. Okay, so there's some old ruins up here. I think it was a harbour master's house. So again, it's not too far from the beach. Let's go and have a bit of a look. Okay, so this is the entryway to the old ruined house. Um, you can see they've got the stairs here built out of stone. So I guess you would have come in here. This would have been like the front door, I'm assuming. Um, got the veranda or the porch, as some people call it. You would have come up these stairs. And this area here, I'm not sure what this would have been. Um, it's kind of a little different. This room looks like it's, it's not really joined to the rest of the house because there's what well, used to be a wall there. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what this room would have been for. Maybe some kind of storage. These rooms are really small. I'll just try and zoom out a bit there. You can see, yeah, not really big at all. Not on today's standards of uh, living anyway. She would have come in here. Um, again, not sure what that is, if that's a fireplace or just a, let's have a look. Yeah, so it was a fireplace. Put the camera in there. So they had a fireplace for this room. So maybe in a bedroom or maybe a kitchen. Um, maybe that was a stove area. And again, you come into here, another small room and another fireplace. Obviously, because it's near the ocean, it would have been really cold.
I gotta say, this does give you a bit of energy.